Welcome to a brand new save on the channel, guys. In this save, I intend to take over Chelsea Football Club. We are going to rewind it back a year to the beginning of the 22-23 season, where I, instead of Graham Potter, are hired to replace Thomas Tuchel. I'm going to see what I could do with the same squad. What I have done, guys, is I have turned off the first transfer window, so we are unable to do any transfers in the first transfer window. Because if I remember rightly, um, Graham Potter took over just after the transfer window had closed. What I'm working with is the same squad that he was working with when he first came in, not the latest database. So I have put it back to the original database on FM2223, just to try and make it as realistic as I could to the series. So the plan is, Potter doesn't exist. Potter never came in. I came in. Let's see if we can do better. Let's get straight in to what the club wants of us this season. I mean, it all seems pretty um, Chelsea-like. Um, well, a bit unambitious, ironically. Um, but it has been a few years since they've been truly successful. Qualify for the Champions League. Reach the last stages of the Champions League this season. And obviously be competitive and challenged for all the trophies. And long term, the one is winning and challenging for the Premier League, as you would expect with Chelsea Football Club. Wants to sign high reputation players, sign players under the age of 23 for the future. I mean, we've got about 50 of them anyway, haven't we? Um, commercial revenue, grow the club's reputation and maintain the best youth system in the country. I mean, I like Chelsea's youth system, but quantity doesn't necessarily mean quality. Um, Maintain the best youth system in the world as well, apparently, and work within the wage budget. I mean, I didn't know Chelsea had a wage budget, to be honest. Um, but nevertheless, we'll accept that current vision. I mean, it all seems pretty straightforward, doesn't it? Let's get into the squad planner, and let's have a quick look at what we have to work with this season. As you can see, I mean, unsurprisingly, Edouard Mendy is absolutely fantastic with Kepa as the backup, although we all know how this season went. Kepa went, was the number one, and then Mendy was the backup. So, who knows Who knows what happens in there? Um, who knows who I decide to go with throughout this, throughout this season? I am planning this only just being one, maybe two se seasons. Um, save, it's more just a see if I could do a better job with this squad um, than Graham Potter. Maybe with a few changes in the winter, if the save allows it. Going straight to the left back, Ben Chilwell, Cucurella, Aspilicueta. I mean, there's depth there, isn't there? The strength in depth, plenty of choice. And at the centre back, Jaco Silva. I won't worry about Rhys James. Curabali, Fafana, Chalabar. Yep, that seems all fine. And it'll be the same there. And the right back, we got Rhys James and Aspilicueta. I mean, if Aspilicueta is your um, backup on both left and what left. Left back and right back, I mean, you can't really complain. I haven't really set the um, exact positions up yet on the squad, but I just to attract it together just so we can have a look at this squad. In the centre midfield here, we've got Kovacic, Jorginho, Kante, Lostus Cheeks, and they say no. And we've got Zachary as well, who came on loan from Juventus. Maybe I can get a better tune out of him than, the, than Graham Potter did. All the star rating isn't fantastic. But he's overall around. He seems like a pretty decent hard-working midfielder. Someone we could use this season. And further forward, obviously, we've got Conor Gallagher in there as well. Apin Ziyech and the homeboy who was no longer the homeboy in Mason Mount in there as well. And in our attack, we've got the Raheem Sterling. I know his picture's still sitting. His picture pack is a bit old. But nevertheless, well, some face is better than no face. And we've got Pulisic in there, Brozier, um, who could possibly play there, but he's one of the um, youngsters. And Bamiyang there, I'm not too sure how keen I'd be him to play him on the wings. And it's pretty much the same on the other wing. And up front, and I think this was the problem is Chelsea had this season, is I hadn't what their main striker as such was Pierrick Emrick Abamiyam, who realistically, let's be honest, is way past his best. Hasn't made any great decisions in recent seasons. And... I can't really say I'm going to plan on starting this season, but I'm going to have to do something with him as he was what Potter had to deal with. 
So I'm going to deal with it. I'm just going to deal with it better. So I'll just throw in a very quick text together how I think I'm possibly going to start this season. Who knows where we end up. But this is what we're going to go for to start with um, as our main team. We have Chilwell, Chilwell, Fafana, Thiago Silva for the experience and James on the right. I think the two English fullbacks are the perfect choice um, to start with. With I'm going to stick with Mendy. For now, let's see how we go. Your deep lying playmaker in the middle there in Jorginho. Seems like a no-brainer. Cover chit in your box to box with Mount as your Mazala running around. You got Pudasic as your inside forwards on the left, Sterling as your inside inverted winger on the right, and Havertz as your deep line forward up front. Obviously, with the um unbalance of the squad, there may be a few changes um in there, and maybe I do have to change the formation to accommodate it. But nevertheless, to start off with, we're gonna do a vertical tiki taka. We're going to, we're going to go for it. I mean, we're Chelsea Football Club. We're Chelsea Football Club. I know they finished twelfth, but we can do better than that. And we've got to go for it. We've got to win games, and we've got to go for it. So we're going positive. We're going attacking players. I will put us fairly narrow as well. Got to be more expressive. There's no reason not to. I mean, we should be one. Should still be one of the best teams in this league. There's no point sitting back and hiding behind it, behind a poor season that never existed because they didn't hire Potter, they hired me instead. So as you can see, looking at the finances very briefly, I have turned the first transfer window off, which means no transfers in this in this window. Um, I could have come and maybe left it till the same date that Potter's took over, just after the transfer window shut. Um, but nevertheless, I wanted to do pre-season, I want to introduce the squad properly, and I want to introduce my plan for this season. To do a better to do a better season than Graham Potter. I'll be back in just a moment for the first game of the season against Liverpool. Hopefully we can get off to a winning start. Welcome back, guys. Just in time for the first game of the season against Liverpool. And just a quick roundup of pre-season. And a probably probably not much of a surprise. Clean sweep of wins all the way through to a pre-season, which Possibly means absolutely nothing when you're going up against the likes of Liverpool and Man United just to start the season. But nevertheless, fantastic confidence booster. Mentality is doing well. Everybody's fit and sharp. Well, majoritively anyway. And we're all ready to play Liverpool and hopefully kick off this campaign with a victory. So let's not waste any more time. Here's our starting eleven to start the season. With Mendy in goal, Chilwell at left back, James at right back. Thiago Silva for Feynman in the middle. We've got Jorginho in the deep line playmaker. Mount is our Mazala today. And your box to box is Kovacic. With Pulisic, Sterling on the wings. Cutting in to support Kai Havertz up top. Here we are, go guys. Here we are, guys. Kick off now against Liverpool. Liverpool with the ball for a kick off. And hopefully, this is just an opening highlight as expected. And hopefully not too much to worry about. Salah is already injured as the game started. I guess that shows their confidence. How they feel they can do against us. Let's not have a terrible start here, guys. First highlight for them. Crossing. Nothing too, too, nothing too much to worry about there. Um, the assistant manager suggested they went balanced. But I mean, with Chelsea Football Club, we're at home. Who can, I know it's Liverpool, but we're at home. We have to go for this. We have to try and win this game. Ooh. I mean, I have got us playing. I have upped the intensity of our formation. So we're playing a bit more direct, a bit more intense. Hopefully with that attacking talent in our team, we can we can shock and awe a lot of teams. But let's be realistic, guys. This this team finished twelfth in the season in the league. Um I mean, my expectation is not twelfth, it's not eleventh. I think if we don't get some form of European football by the end of this season, even though technically it would be a better season than under Potter, I think realistically you have to say if you don't get any sort of European football as a Chelsea manager, you're, you're getting sacked. And I think it's fair to say that would happen exactly the same to me if I don't get European football this season. It's been a nice positive start though. Obviously a few highlights going our way. More chances and in more possession. He says, as they just get a highlight, we have won the, we haven't won the ball back, should I say. 
here comes Arnold on that right hand side. He is causing all sorts of trouble for us down that right hand side. Chilwell maybe needs to calm down a bit. Here they come again with Luis Diaz with a nice block there from our defence. Well, that was a rather speedy first half. Not that many highlights, more in our favour, but it's still nil-nil. Again, we've got to go for it. We've got to keep winning. We are Chelsea Football Club. We're at home against Liverpool. But don't forget, didn't do much better than us in this season. But hopefully this season we get to finish above them. But let's crack on with the second half and let's see where we get on. I think what we might find this season is probably one of the crucial things, at least till January when I am allowed to make some changes, is the need for a striker. Is the need to bring in a striker. I think if you bring in a world-class striker there, um, I think it makes all the difference in the world to this team from a focal point up top. Here we are on the attack now, ready to... Well, I wasn't going to say ready to score, but maybe not. But we have as a positive to the second half. Things have gone really, really well. Um, definitely a positive start to the campaign, all those victories. I mean, and we're doing we're the better team against this Liverpool team. And hopefully, as I was saying before, we need a focal point in that attack. If we get that focal point maybe in January, and this will be going to make a big difference. But nevertheless, for now, Kai Havertz is going to have to be the man with maybe... Maybe I have to rely on Aubameyang a bit, which I think was maybe... Maybe by highlighting these things, is highlighting the thing that things that went wrong for Chelsea this season. Of a corner now would be a sucker punch if they scored here because I don't think they deserve it. And for a guy who doesn't usually manage the big teams in FM, not very often I am um, going to a Liverpool game thinking thinking more positively that we should be winning. Um, so it's a nice change for me. But essentially, guys, the plan is, is, especially for the first half of the season, transfer window is all turned off. As as Potter did not have the, um, obviously, transfer window till January. And then, obviously, we'll see how we do in the first half of the season. Uh, oh, come on. We'll see how we do the first half of the season. Then January, that's when it, it opens up a little bit because... Obviously, Potter made his transfers, but obviously it's up for me to see whether what different transfers I would make and what players I would try and bring in to make this team better. I mean, oof. I mean, we are really pushing now. We are really pushing and doing well now. So I have just made a couple of changes. I put Kai Havertz on the right hand side. I've took Sterling off. I've put a I'm up front. Maybe his height and presence can do something for us up there. And I've brought Angola Kante on for Kovacic on that box to box. Bit a bit of energy in there. Hopefully we can do something with it. I mean, I must admit, for the first game of the season, um had only up the temp the pressure rather recently. So I think we've coped well with the increased pressure on the formation recently. It's not something we've been training to all preseason. And I think we are coping really, really well. And I think this puts us in a good stead for the season. The fact that we're able to compete like this against um, a, a Liverpool team. Can we do... Oh, I mean, this this end product might be the um, be the problem. But I'm trying to think on the positive side. I'm trying to take it positively. It's the first game of the season. I mean, it could still go wrong, but it's the first game of the season. I'm trying to think positively. It's all going to go well. We'll be fine. Make some more changes. Now the game is coming to an end here. I think Aspera is the man to come on there. And we'll bring on Conor Gallagher there because we don't really have much of a choice. And that's about our lot. I think we don't really have much more wiggle room here. Um, we've made those changes. I mean, we've definitely deserved to win this game. I don't think we are. Going to win this game, unless we can sneak some at late here. Ooh. One. Oh. Oh, hit the crossbar right at the end. Come on. I mean, Pudis sits down this. Oh. Pudis sits down this left-hand side. is causing, as soon as they've got tired and they've dropped at the back, um, Pudis is really 
doing a lot. Of, well, I'd say doing a lot of damage. He's creating them a lot of problems, but nothing's come of it. If they, if they score right at the end here, it's going to be rather painful. Come on, Abamiana, or anyone. Come on. One more chance. Can we do something with it? Can the captain do it? Can the ca oh. That would have been perfect. Perfect end to that game. Well, there we have it, guys. First game of the season in this Chelsea series. And it is a nil-nil against Liverpool at home. The result, we could do with the three points as we are at home. But the performance was... It was a promising performance. And if we can build on this, and obviously as the team gets fitter and gels together more, then we're definitely loving, looking very, very positive to get through this season. And hopefully I have a, hopefully prove that I could do the Chelsea job better than Potter could. Well, guys, that's the end of the first episode of our brand new Chelsea series on this channel. And if you're looking forward to what comes next on this episode, on this series, sorry, or to what other videos I may produce and hopefully produce in the future. Then hit a like on the episode, subscribe to the channel to see where the series go, and to see whether I can be a better manager at Chelsea than Graham Potter. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you for coming out today, and I'll see you guys in the next one.